I think the, uh, the project is an act of insanity. Take a tree down, topple it over, take the bark off, machine it, glue it into giant blocks to then construct a tree that does not exist to the level of detail where you're only dreaming of, of replicating nature. This starts with the sketching on, on, on giant uh, pieces of drawing um, of a tree that could be convoluted, forced uh, into shape by, by the weather, by, by the wind, by the circumstances. Going down to the detail of 0.1 millimeters in which you could see every single tiny little bump and grain of the wood. So we're using the latest uh, technology in terms of of machine tooling to now uh, be able to carve out of a block of wood the tree and get it to come back out. You have a watch because you want it to remind you of something. You, you want it as a testament of, of what we're capable of doing. To be able to create a core piece of design that could reflect the insanity of today fabricating watches by hand to create something that can only be justified as an act of passion or an act of art. So when I design here, I try to design by understanding the brand, understanding the obsessions and the philosophy and the DNA of what they are, what they do, and to try and create a metaphor that can illustrate who they are for the rest of the people. It, will this tree eventually be a work of art? Maybe it is, but was it approached as a design? Yes. So part of the beauty of, of starting with these uh, bare branches was to um, also be able to have a design that could transform in time. The name Second Nature is, is a play on words. On one side, we are replicating nature. We're trying to, to create a, a second version of what was a tree by transforming one into another. And, and I think it is only normal for us to be always wanting to go beyond what is possible in search to uh, justify ourselves, to understand ourselves.